Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If you've seen some of my previous videos, you'd know that I'm dealing with some issues regarding my appetite. So my therapist provided me with a food journal to try and be more aware of my eating habits. So I spent the last two weeks tracking my meals and this is how it went. Today I had a therapy session. She set me up with a food diary and journal. I already logged two of my meals. Right now, I know this isn't a meal. I'm having a PB&J. I am going to write in the nighttime box that I'm having a peanut butter and jelly sandwich at 10 p.m., which is fine because that's like the third time I'll have eaten today, which is great for me because I'm having a lot of trouble with the desire to eat. I'm kind of eating to survive instead of eating, you know, to enjoy my food. So yeah, I'm gonna write PB and J. See you tomorrow for the rest of the food that I eat. It's not the best looking, but I know it's good. So I didn't actually film any of my meals yesterday. That's mostly because there were just snacks. Like it wasn't anything exciting. At around three, my grandma made me like a cucumber sandwich. And then now it is at 7 p.m. So it is Friday at 2.40. I'm just going to eat my avocado toast. A grilled cheese sandwich and soup. He's just chilling. Okay, so. <laughs> So on Saturday, I didn't record anything. I was not having a great day. I have already had a PB&J just to kind of give myself something. Again, as usual, no appetite. I didn't know what I wanted today. I'm like really pasted out. I didn't feel like putting any effort into anything because I just don't feel like it. Like I'm trying to talk myself into making a smoothie. So I think that's something I'm gonna have to force myself to do tomorrow. But as you can see, I have a bit of a pattern of not eating during these times of the day. Now that it is 7.45, I'm going to have my lunch. Cause that's like the timeline I'm on, I'm not sure. <sighs> Clearly I'm hungry. <laughs> this is delicious. Hello guys. This morning I had a little, or not this morning, my morning. So 3 p.m. I had a little smoothie. which is right here that I haven't finished yet, but I'm going to finish it right now before I eat this. So I'm really proud of myself for making that. I know it was just like a really simple smoothie, but just like the fact that I actually took the time to make it, I'm really proud of myself for that. I'm also having pasta with beans. It's a six bean medley in here, as well as a whole bunch of nutritional yeast, gluten-free pasta. I'm really excited to eat this. I'm actually quite hungry at the moment, which is good. This is like technically my lunch and it's almost seven o'clock. <sighs> I'm going to let you guys know how I feel once I eat it. See you then. So I'm finally done my pasta and my smoothie. I think I have a little bit of a headache from waiting so long to eat today with just like having half the smoothie for a little bit and then I started to get a headache. Or maybe it was just like the lack of, uh, I can't even think. I'm going to quickly fill in here what I had. So I had a smoothie and then I had a bowl of pasta with added beans to it. I'm not totally sure what I'm gonna have later. Maybe like a bowl of soup with crackers. Hey guys, so today is Tuesday, which means that it's technically day eight of this challenge, but I had another therapy session today and my therapist and I both agreed that it would probably be a good idea to try and continue journaling my food just to kind of see more of what my eating habits are like, as well as if I can push myself to eat more and earlier on in the day. I'm currently just having 
pasta and then I decided that because I have some mushrooms in the fridge that I didn't want to go to bed and some beans that I had from last night's pasta and just cooked those up together threw on some salt some pepper a bit of chili flakes and some nutritional yeast and that is my pasta good afternoon guys like I'm kind of having a rough self-doubt day let's write down what we had yesterday and then I'll write down what I'm having right now which as usual it's at 3 p.m. so 3 p.m. seems to be like my hungry time so my goal is to start eating at two o'clock or one o'clock or something like that I have been going to bed at like 3 a.m. and waking up at like noon or one o'clock which like isn't super ideal I'm not shaming myself or I'm trying to not shame myself for it I would like to kind of fix that and maybe get into my bed for like midnight or one o'clock instead of three or four in the morning if you watched my 30-day meditation video which I will link up here you'll see how often I'm going to bed at like after 3 a.m. which is just not super ideal for me I just don't think I thrive with that kind of a sleep schedule let's write down what we had yesterday P B and J pasta okay and then now today avo toast I will update you guys later on in the day once I have more food. Whew, that chili is spicy. I've just got avocado on white toast. I know, I shouldn't be eating white toast, but it's fine. Salt, pepper, chili flakes, hemp seeds, ground chia, and nooch. So it's 8.30, I'm just having a bowl of soup with some crackers in it. It might not look very appetizing, but it's good. <laughs> good morning, actually good afternoon guys, cause it's like almost 2.40, but I'm a little earlier than I usually am. I've just got some oatmeal, just because I wanted something really quick and easy. I'm gonna eat this. It's just the basic maple and brown sugar oatmeal without anything added to it or anything. I should probably also mention that I've just got my little vegan vitamin here. So it's like, quarter after six and I'm starting to get a bit of a headache so I think I'm gonna make myself some food but I'm just gonna reheat my pasta from last night and then add just some peppers just because she's getting a little wrinkly and some more mushrooms because I also don't want these to go bad and it was really really delicious addition to my last pasta And then I threw some chili flakes, nutritional yeast, and salt and pepper onto it. So this is just gonna be my first taste of it. Mmm. Holy shit, that's really delicious. <laughs> I haven't had any kind of desire to make food lately. When I do make the food, I'm not like that hungry for it, but I'm like about to just demolish this bowl. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Oh my god, I've missed peppers and I've missed mushrooms. Oh, I've like, seriously just like missed having an appetite so much. Having so many flavors in my food right now that I've missed. Like mushrooms and peppers are like two of my favorites. This was my first time ever making the Beyond sausage. And I also put sesame oil on everything because I love sesame oil. I've been dealing with this with my therapist like for a few months at least and having whipped this up so quickly and easily and it tastes so good. I mean, this is like the bare minimum of flavor. I'm telling you right now, like this is the most flavor I've had in months because I've just had no desire to put effort in and no, Appetite. These are little sausages, man. Holy shit. I can't believe I cried. <laughs> I was so worried I wasn't gonna like get it back. And it's not like my taste buds or anything. I still have like my taste buds. The desire to want to eat was just gone for me. Like I was eating because I knew I had to. Feeling so much joy from eating this meal right now. I'm really trying to not cry. I've been genuinely like scared of continuing to not have an appetite and continue losing weight. I've just been worried that it's not, it wasn't ever gonna come back. I know that this was a lot to do with stress. My therapist will be very happy to hear about this. I feel like it's just like a weight lifted off my shoulders. Even if this moment of hunger only lasting today or tonight, I'm just really grateful that it was kind of like a reminder that my appetite is gonna come back or it can come back. From like the outside, this seems so small and silly, but it's, 
it's not. It's like so not silly to me at all. I'm so, so very grateful that I have an appetite right now. Okay, I'm done rambling now. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Do you see the time? It's 10 a.m. And guess what I am? So I have a PB&J and I'm going to mange this. Even though I don't super have an appetite, but I did forget to write down what I had yesterday, so I'll have to do that at some point today. I'm gonna eat my PB and J, and I'm gonna have my matcha tea, and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. So it is just before 2:30, and I'm having my lunch. So I'm very excited that I had breakfast this morning. I'm very proud of myself. It took me a little while to eat it, but that's okay. Right now, I'm just having a bowl of soup because I need to film this upcoming Tuesday's video, which will be over in the corner here. If you guys are interested in that, I'm thinking I'm gonna have like some rice, like a stir fry type thing tonight. Italian sausage, mushrooms, and peppers because that was really good. I just found that the pasta and the beans were a little bit dry, but that's just because I had left them out and then put them away in a Tupperware container and then put them in the fridge, so. So it is dinner time. It is my third meal of the day. I'm so proud of myself. I actually almost forgot to add the sausage. Luckily it cooks so easy and so fast. Very busy day, very excited to eat. Woohoo! So I'm just quickly filling out what I've had throughout the week because I'm a little bit behind. Today is Friday and I haven't filled out Wednesday or Thursday or Friday because it's the end of the day. So I'm gonna quickly do this. Perfect. Oh, I look lovely. <laughs> Good morning slash noon, guys. I did sleep in a little bit today. So I've got a peanut butter and jelly sandwich that I'm going to try and get myself to eat. And I've also got my matcha tea. So I'll see you guys at my lunchtime. <laughs> Hopefully I'll have better hair by then. <laughs> Good evening guys. So it is 4.45. I have already finished my dinner and it was super delicious. I just had the exact same thing that I made yesterday. I'm kind of one of those people who tends to eat the same thing over and over again. So I'm really excited that I've found something that I really enjoy and that's not pricey at all. I'm just gonna quickly fill out my food journal. I'm just going to have a little granola bar. Hopefully help to tide me over until I go to bed. But I don't actually want to make anything. Like I could truly go for another stir fry. I want another stir fry or pasta. Maybe I'll do that. Cause that will definitely fill me up. But I also don't want to like eat too much because then it'll give me energy. Ugh. All right, I'm having pasta. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. See, my internal struggle here, Grandma, is that by the time I'm ready to go to sleep, I won't be hungry, but I won't be full. So, my final meal of the day. And I also have my little vitamin. I will see you guys tomorrow for breakfast, hopefully. <laughs> Good afternoon, guys. So, it is just a little bit past one o'clock right now. I'm currently just eating are you gonna guess it? Are you gonna guess it? A PB&J. I already know what I'm gonna have for my second meal of the day. I'm real excited, so I will see you then. All right, guys, I'm so excited. So for lunch, I am having two grilled cheeses as well as a bowl of soup. I did end up making two grilled cheeses this time just because 
The last couple of times that I've had soup and grilled cheese, I've ended up regretting only having one grilled cheese because I was still hungry afterwards. So I figured that the best solution to that was just to make two at a time. This soup, it's so cheap, but it's so delicious. It's so yummy. This vegan cheese that I'm using, oh, mwah, it's really delicious. Not as good as like my favorite chow cheese. Still delicious. This is Earth Zone, still really yummy. Yum. I don't even know if that looked delicious or not. <laughs> but it is very, very good. So just a really quick update, you guys. I feel like my appetite is slowly coming back. I think I'm getting into a better habit of eating more. I was really stressed out for quite a while there about my eating, which I think in turn made it so I had even less of an appetite. I'm hoping I will finish strong tomorrow. This won't be my last meal of the day. I still have leftover rice, so I'm going to be having another stir fry because I'm addicted to those stir fries now. I'm just really proud of myself for how far I've come. And I think my therapist is going to be very happy for me too. <laughs> so I'm very excited. Anyways, I'm going to eat and I will see you for my next meal. I feel like I'm bored right now. I'm eating my food and I know that I should be mindfully eating it to kind of get in the habit of doing that. That's something that my therapist and I discussed. I like want to be doing something while I'm eating. So I don't really feel like editing at the moment. So I really want to eat and like watch a Netflix show but I know I should be mindful. This is like a time where I would just be scrolling through like Twitter or Instagram. So I wasn't actually going to eat anything else tonight, but I couldn't get the stir fry out of my head. So I have another stir fry. If I've done myself once again, it's delicious. I will see you guys tomorrow for hopefully breakfast time. Hey guys, so I was really hoping to kind of finish off strong today like I said yesterday but I think I'm a little overwhelmed with just everything going on with all of the videos I have going at one time right now. I did have breakfast but that was a little bit later on in the day which I believe was at around noon. I haven't eaten since then so we ended up getting some fast food and I got a veggie burger and then my grandma only ate half of her hamburgers so I'm gonna be eating other half of her veggie burger. But I am very proud of myself for how much effort I've put into eating the past two weeks. Anyways, I'm starving so I'm going to eat my burger. So if you've made it this far, thank you so much for sticking around. If you paid any attention to the days, you could tell that my first week, I made very little progress other than forcing myself to make a smoothie. I think my big turning point was on day 10 when I made the stir fry because I finally felt a desire to eat. Which you can clearly tell by my emotions that it was such a huge relief for me that my desire for food had come back, even if it was only going to be for a short time. During the final four days of this challenge, I made steady progress. Waking up early eating earlier and cooking more stir fries. Although for day 14 I wanted to finish strong but I wasn't as successful as I wanted to be because that day was very busy and somewhat stressful. Now that this challenge is over I'm happy to say that my desire for food is increasing. I still have some work to do to continue forming better eating habits but I'm really proud of the progress I've made so far in increasing my appetite. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did please hit the like button because it really does support my channel as well as subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified of future videos that I will be posting. I am currently challenging myself to posting two videos a week which is typically on Tuesday and Friday. Be sure to also follow me on all of my social media. They're always the pinned comment in the comments and I'll see you on Tuesday. Bye! Oh my foot is so numb. Holy moly.